and up and down uh, US 24 and moving right up into Interstate 75. We have some thunderstorms moving into Finley. That's Flag City, USA. And then farther southwest, we have some action all the way down into Kansas and Missouri. In fact, a lot of this real estate is under a flood watch in some form, one form or another. In fact, we can show uh, you some of that uh, into Wichita, east into places like Joplin, Missouri, and up into Topeka, Kansas, and south into areas around uh, Miami, Bartlesville, and into Enid, Oklahoma, too. So we have a lot going on, and there's that big, long, long stripe from eastern parts of New Mexico, the Raton Mesa, all the way up to Rochester, New York, under at least a marginal risk of severe storms. Some of you are under a slight risk of severe weather from near Hannibal, Missouri, east into Illinois. Isolated tornadoes are possible, although the risk is much lower than it was yesterday into Iowa. Damaging wind and flash flooding, all concerns. Temperature-wise, some of you are pretty hot. Look at Bismarck, North Dakota, 93. Head north for the heat. Dallas has yet to hit 100 degrees yet this year, but we've had uh, some big-time heat farther north. Meanwhile, we're at 76 in Peoria, 73 in Kansas City. Nice and cool there behind the rain. Well, we are concerned about the risk of flooding, not just in Kansas and Missouri, but there may be some localized flash flooding over the next couple of days in Indiana, Illinois, and even in western Ohio, southeast Michigan, as these storms are going to be uh, pretty significant rain producers here. There's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere with this setup east of the trough, showers and thunderstorms while the northern plains are dry. Thunderstorms could be severe for the Ohio Valley tomorrow. Well, we've been talking a lot about heat in the western U.S., but Melissa, there's a huge contrast if you head west to the coast. It's comfortable, let's face it, right? We yeah. enjoy it. Uh, just a few clouds here in Oakland, and that is clouds that start off the morning, that marine layer is what helps keep things a bit cooler throughout the day. So if you're headed to places like Oakland or San Francisco or maybe Malibu, California, looking good next couple of days. Temperatures in the 70s or 80s. And it's not just California's West Coast. It's also true throughout the rest of the West Coast, including north into Washington, where we do have some of those extra clouds, maybe even a few sprinkles out there for Friday. But it does keep us a bit cooler by the Pacific Ocean. Temperatures there in the 50s and 60s. Refreshing compared to the rest of the Northwest this weekend. Because here's what happens. This high pressure system strengthens and we're talking another heat wave. And as it settles in, it's going to be through the interior northwest places like Montana getting the brunt of the heat. Right now, that high is a little bit weaker, but it's still spinning here across the southwest.